Now, if you have a small space, even if all you have is a kitchen window, you can still be a micro farmer. This is basil. This is the more traditional basil. It's called dolci fresca. That means sweet and fresh in Italian. It's an AAS winner. It's a great variety. And to harvest it, you simply pinch out the top as often as, you know, once or twice a week, and you have all this fresh basil for pesto. However, there is an awesome, more colorful basil. This is the Thai basil. And look at these flowers. The problem is it's so beautiful, you hate to cut the flowers off and harvest, but if you don't, see how the plant starts to fall over? So I'm gonna show you how to prune the Thai basil, or actually any leggy plant. You wanna cut at a joint or a node. So I'm gonna reach down here, and I can either prune right there at a joint or follow this stem all the way down to a lower joint. Now all this you can hang upside down. You can dry it in a cool dark room and have dried basil. Yes, even the flowers of the basil will give you that flavor in your cooking. And you can just continue to cut down wherever there's a joint or a node. And where you snip, that's going to encourage growth right there at that node. So you can continue pruning that plant and pretty soon you'll have a nice compact basil plant that'll be totally renewed and continue giving wonderful flavorful leaves for the best bruschetta.